Coach, a uh, little different scenario getting to the tournament this time. Uh, the last time y'all went, it was such a good regular season and such a dominant run through conference. This time it's a little different. It, did it seem, uh, Andrea said it seemed easier this time winning it. Uh, you probably begged to differ, I would imagine. Well, actually, in the tournament, it, there was a, a great calm amongst all of us uh, coaches and players. So. Uh, in a way, she's right. We just felt really good about the tournament beforehand. Uh, I was really confident uh, for some reason that we were going to win this year. And uh, everybody was just very focused at, on the task at hand and took care of business in the tournament, uh, match by match, uh, individually in each team match. So um, really throughout this season, our only three losses in conference were so close, so we felt like we did have a good chance to win this tournament. You look back uh, early in the season, a tough match against LSU, you won a uh, match against Southeastern Conference teams here. How much does that play into to the preparation for Friday? Well, it always helps to play against that level of competition. The SEC is the strongest tennis uh, league in the country, and, and it's a day-in, day-out battle when over the, whenever those teams play each other. So. Having played LSU early in the season, we actually played very well against them and lost a close one. Uh, we get to see all these teams at the ITA regionals in the fall, so we kind of know what we're up against uh, come Friday against Alabama. You, you blend so many cultures year in and year out here, a lot of international players. How do you go about building chemistry? Is it just easiest saying tennis is, I mean, it's, it's a common no. language no matter where they play? No, it's. Uh, you know, we really preach that it's team first as soon as they get here. We have, we have our team meetings and our individual meetings. And certainly when you recruit these girls, we talk about what we're all about, not just tennis. Uh, it is a close-knit family here at Northwestern State, and athletics especially. Uh, so we do talk about the uh, positives about everything in our program, certainly our academics, uh, the people of Natchitoches and the community, the people in the university, and then tennis, of course, is very important. So they know what to expect when they get here. They hear it again when they get here, and we, we try to preach it all the time, and, and certainly they all uh, find common ground, and, and we've been very fortunate with these tennis teams that these girls in, in, in general get along very well with each other. Yeah, we talked to Andre about the 2010 team and the 2013 team. What's the biggest difference or, or, and the biggest similarity between those two teams? Are there similarities between those two well, aside from raising the trophy? I think uh, the biggest difference probably is this year we we're, uh, we're very strong at the top of the lineup. Uh, and, and we had some struggles throughout the year in different positions, but everybody in the end uh, peaked and was, was playing their best, best tennis, which is great. Uh, our 2010 team, we, we really had about, uh, we had six, seven players who were about the same level, uh, day in and day out, steady Eddie, they, they got the job done. Uh, in a way, this, this current team uh, had a bit more potential, and more firepower. Uh, and, and I think we showed that in the conference tournament. So it's been a building toward this point kind of season? Absolutely. We built towards this. Our, our goal was to, to peak at this time. Uh, we had a lot of underclassmen this time so with little experience. So um, really that was a big difference uh, between this team and the 2010 team as well. The 2010 team had a bit more experience and this one uh, had that firepower but we just had to get it out of them. Well, the season was very hard at the beginning because there were a lot of good teams in our conference and there were a lot of four to three matches, whether we won or lost, it was very, all the teams were very equal and it was kind of frustrating to lose the matches 4-3, but at the same time it gave us confidence because we knew we could beat everybody and we used that confidence on the last conference tournament and we came out first. Your second uh, Southland Conference tournament. Uh, talk about how you feel. Um, yeah. One, two of them. Um, yeah, it's it's really it feels great to be able to be the first Lady Demon to have two conference two conference Southland Conference tournament championships. Um, my freshman year, the season was really perfect. We lost like maybe two matches in the whole year, and this year, I think. It was not so much expected of us, so it's really special that we could have um, proved people wrong that we could we made it.
Is this a case where it's just different? Is, is that team more experienced? Were there some older girls on that team as compared to this team? Well, um, when I was freshman, we had a lot of uh, juniors. We didn't have any senior, and this year I'm the only senior. So I'm kind of proud of myself that I, as the only senior, I was able to use the experience from my freshman and sophomore year, and I was able to motivate my teammates, and they always like to listen to how I describe how was it when I was freshman when we won, and I think that's what was motivating them so much, and it really helped them. As that season went along, when you kept winning and winning and winning, you get a bigger target on your back, more teams aiming for you. Was yes. it tougher to do it this year, kind of coming out of nowhere, being a little bit of the underdog, was it tough to do it th that way? This year, it was actually, I felt easier. It was easier because we ended fourth in conference in regular season. So we were fourth seeded uh, team and uh, we were able to beat uh, defending champions in the first round, number one seeded in the second round and in the finals, number two seeded. And we lost in regular season with the number one seed and number two seed 4-3. Um, I felt like they felt the pressure and we were just relaxed and confident because we knew we could have done it in the regular season as well, so it was good. Where is your confidence level right now? It's high, in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe talk about um, how that tough competition within conference has prepared you and your teammates to get to where you're at so, now. But, um, the very, very tough conference slate you guys played or whatever, I mean, it's very a lot of tough teams here and there. You upset a couple of teams in way to get your team title. So maybe talk about how that has built confidence for you guys to head into the national tournament. Um, I think that right now, playing number nine seed, you really have nothing to lose and you can just go out there and play your best tennis and see what happens. So. Everybody is relaxed, we are confident because we know we played really good at the end of the season and I feel confident that we can make another upset. Alright, uh, one last thing, uh, make sure you, for us, can you please say something in your native language? Because yeah. we just want to hear it. So something about yes. how proud you are at this, at this time and uh, we appreciate uh -huh. the support and stuff like that. Jsem moc pišná na můj tým, že jsme vyhráli a jsme nejlepší. Go Demons! Uh, we were working hard, we've been practicing a lot. We did a great teamwork, supporting each other and we were very excited when we won conference and I think we had a great season, great results. There's so many different backgrounds, girls coming from different countries and things. How did you guys come together as a team? Was it a, a tough transition to get to know the girls or did it go pretty smoothly? It went pretty smoothly. Like we, are, we all are very friendly, very supportive and we are trying like to help each other as much as possible all the time. Talk about facing Alabama in your upcoming national week. We are ready. We've been practicing and we are ready to fight. We are ready to win. Okay. Talk about your individual achievements. Uh, you strive to be very good for the team and you're number one right now. So what helped you to be so good so far for the Um, My teammates. It's all about them. They're very supportive. And while I'm playing position number one, I'm trying to be a good example and I'm trying to push them to work hard and to be like, I don't know, just a good team all together. Go for it. it seems like you guys have plenty of fun. You guys upload Facebook videos of you guys acting weird and doing some 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 type of dance craze or whatever. <laughs> how much of that plays into how you guys gel right now? Um, I mean, we are spending a lot of time practicing and studying, so sometimes, of course, we want to do something fun, something to impress people around, and yeah, our videos, it's a part of our, how to say, uh, free time when we have, so. Hmm? Who's, who's the best dancer on the team? The best dancer? Oh, I think it's Tatiana Larina, she's playing number two. She, uh, I hear Vanya has a pretty good singing voice. She's, she has a great voice. She's awesome. She's, um, how to say, 
um, singing national anthem on uh, our Demons Davis Cup this semester and every time when we are going somewhere like she likes to sing a lot everywhere <laughs> If you can uh, send a message back to everyone back at home in your native language uh, for us. Okay. Мамочка, папочка, я очень скучаю, очень хочу домой, скоро приеду. Вперед, демоны. I think we had a really good season. We improved a lot, everybody on the team. I remember Coach's words from the fall semester when he said that all the teams from the Southland Conference are really strong and uh, the winner will be the one who is, uh, who is mentally and physically tougher. So I think we did a really good job on the court and out, and out of the court, like on the football field or just wherever we did our workouts. Um, <clears throat> we, start, we, we started pretty good. I remember our, our first game against LSU, we had a really good chance to win and I think that helps us, that, that, gave, a, that gave us confidence and to other next matches. So I think we had a really good season. When you get ready to go to play Alabama, how much do you look back at playing LSU? How much does that confidence carry over maybe into Friday? Mm -hmm. Well, actually I'm, I don't look back, I just leave like in the moment, live in the morning and just practice and if it just depends like you can start go you can start the season good and then you can lose everything like all your confidence and just it just only in your head like it depends on the on you. Will there be nerves on oh, yeah. Friday? Uh, no, I don't think so because now we're practicing without any pressure. We, d we, don't, uh, we don't have anything to lose. So I think I'll do my best like I always do. Uh, I'm not scared. I don't, I don't care against whom to play. I'm just a player for me and it doesn't matter if she, she is a nationally ranked player and I'm just a player without any ranking. So. Now, before the championship match, you sent out an infamous tweet. <laughs> Tell the guys what your Twitter handle is and then what you tweeted. Oh my God, I guess it, it became popular. Everybody knows about it. <laughs> it's really good. Well, yeah, I had like, this motivation in my head. Uh, I said that I, w I won't be stopped and I wasn't. It's just I posted this tweet for myself and I knew that I can do it. Just everything depends on me. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't watch other girls, how they played. I just was focused on my game, my match. So I think I did good, and I was. I just. I wanted to beat so, but to win so badly. So that helped me a lot. This desire and wish to win. So. Я хочу передать большой привет всем, кто поддерживал меня, моим родителям, бабушке, папе, маме и друзьям, все, кто верил меня и знал, что я могу, смогу это сделать. И я очень благодарна Богу, что Он дал мне такую возможность выступать на высоком уровне. Спасибо. All right, Amy, I guess we'll start off, um, maybe just give us thoughts and feelings about how you and your teammates are preparing for Alabama in this upcoming regional. Uh, well, we're obviously very excited. You know, we're continuing to work hard and we're uh, prepared to go fight the uh, Crimson Tide. Okay. Um, your teammates have said that your coach actually told y'all before the season that Southland Conference was going to be full of talented teams, full of talented players. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that it has prepared you guys to where you get to where you're at now? Yeah, I feel it has. You know, uh, we're no stranger to the competition. You know, um, our record shows that we had so many 4-3 matches and that, that just prepared us mentally as well as physically. We also had a tight one with LSU to start the season. When you look mm -hmm. back at playing an SEC team, you're going to play another one on the road. How much confidence do you take out of that, even though it's been a couple of months? Um, yeah, it's been a couple of months, but we're still confident. You know, we're not afraid of the big stage. We played on it before, and uh, like I said earlier, we're ready to fight. So. For you, I mean, you're blending so many cultures. A lot of college tennis teams, a lot of mm -hmm. different cultures. How does how do you build chemistry across that that spectrum? Uh, it's actually really easy. We get along so well. It's, it's amazing. Um, I'm blessed to play with all these international players. It's an opportunity that most people can't say that they've had. What have you learned from them? Uh, I've actually learned quite a bit of Russian. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I've learned that, you know, coming from Leesville, it's a small town, and 
being like living with all these uh, international players, it's just opened my eyes, and I feel like I can do anything almost because I have this cultural experience. You guys feel uh, you, like Jimmy said a couple of days. Uh, <coughs> you had a tough loss against Southeastern before the conference tournament. What what turned around there in the tournament after that loss? Well, um, we decided that we weren't going to be stopped. You know, we were coming back with a vengeance. We were ready to beat Southeastern. It was obvious, I think, that we wanted it more than the other teams, and we just didn't take no for an answer. And obviously, at this point, that gives you a lot of momentum going into Friday. It does, yeah. It gives us a lot of confidence. You know, we're prepared mentally and physically. We're ready to go. Hey, uh, all of Louisville, I'm honored to be representing you at the NCAAs this weekend against Alabama.